You're joining us from my hot tub. Has there ever been a part in your friendship where you guys felt like unfriending each other? Maybe like I mean that's kind of what I, what I had to do with Johnson is I had to like be friends with him and that was really difficult, you know. I like, don't know how you did it. How do you guys stay so calm during these events? We don't. We're not. <laughs> inside, we look calm. Inside, I'm screaming. I guess I was the rebound. Wait, that was... Ellie, do you want to play mermaids? <gasps> do I want to play mermaids? Hey guys, what's up? You're joining us from my hot tub. And the hot tub's so deep. It's so deep. Okay. We're like little bobbleheads. Right? And we have ooh, matching ooh. pumpadoos. Because as we should. As we should. As we should. We look cute. So... Today, we're here in my hot tub because we're about to spill all the tea you've ever oh! want to learn about us. So we're about all to the drop some bombs on you. So if you're ready, give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs up, like it, subscribe. Make sure you've watched my new music video, DiCaprio. If you haven't seen it is already. Is it gonna be out? It's gonna be out when this is out. So go check yeah, it out. Let go me know watch what you it. Think. I'm gonna be Jenna's first viewer. So if I watched it and Jenna's watched it, then you should watch it. You should watch it too. Today we're going to be answering questions. We're also just going to be having a blast. Pool party. And you're with us. It's like you're I know. Here in this hot tub We're having with a us. pool party with all of us. We're going to be kind of like bobbleheads like swimming today. So yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. Because why right. wouldn't you want to watch bobbleheads in a hot tub? Yeah, why wouldn't you? You got my phone. My hair. I'm like, does my hair look stupid? No, it's a pumpadoo. You're fine. It's a pumpadoo. I don't know what that means, but I like that word. It's what my mom and I call uh, this messy bun hairstyle. Okay, Jenna, what is our first question? Okay, first question is about our friendship. Oh. How long have you guys been friends, and where did y'all meet? So we've been friends for a long, a long time. time. Ellie and I have been through the. We have been we've through, been through we've it. We've been through we've it been, together. That's just what we can say. We have been we through have it. We have been through it together since day uno. Literally. What year? We it was Rock Your Hair. It was 2016. Or was it Abby Lee's studio? No, you're right. It was Abby Lee. In 2016, you guys, I think it might have been in like Guy Groove's hip hop class. <laughs> it was literally, it was like March 2016. Seven years ago. Yeah. We're here. Seven years ago. We're here. Now I'm chilling in Jenna's hot tub. That's crazy. How do you get over broken up friendships? Ooh. Here, you go first. Maybe we can like both answer this yeah. one and, like our own thing. You know, I think something I live off of is, did you leave the person better than you found them? Oh, and that's good. If you left that friendship or relationship or whatever it was, and you left them better than you found them, I think you did your job. Obviously, you, I don't think it's right to ever play like victim card in any. I mean, there's certain circumstances, yeah. of course, where you can definitely play those cards. But overall, we all make mistakes in life, and we all make our own choices that can sometimes reflect those mistakes. Obviously, there's certain things that you know, yes, you know, that can override what I just said. But yeah. overall. I think if you left the person better than you found them and you realize that, hey, what can I learn from this friendship or relationship, that's the best thing you can do to walk away from something. Right. It's like, hey, what did I learn from this? Did I make them a better person? Did I make myself a better person from this friendship or relationship? And, you know, what are the pros and cons of that friendship and relationship? Yeah. Like, what is something that I will never allow again? What is something that they did that I admire? And it's just kind of weighing the pros and cons. And then you realize, hey, what do I want next in that uh, friendship or relationship? And what do I deserve? I that think was, that deserves like an applause right there. That was, Thanks. how am I supposed to follow that, Jenna? Come on now, why'd you gotta make it that good? I'm sorry. Jenna, I mean, I, mine is nowhere gonna be near. Like Jenna kind of really stated a lot of great things, but just, I would say really cherish all the memories you do have and everything happens for a reason. So if that friendship did get broken up, mm -hmm. it happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, I know it sucks and it hurts, but that pain will go away. But it happened for a reason, but just hold on to and cherish those memories mm -hmm. that those all only good memories that you have with that person because some memories will like last you a lifetime and they'll stay with you forever. Yeah, that's very true. Mm -hmm. What is your bold first period stories? I don't think I've actually told anyone mine. Really, was yours bad or good? So, I'll start. So, it was like during COVID, it was like March 2020, and I think I got it. I was on the phone with my friend Giannina, you guys probably know who that is, Aww. and we were talking about periods, and she was talking about <laughs> hers. The day after, I get mine, 
And I'm like, what is this? Like, hello, like, is someone listening to me? He's What's dying. going on? But I got one for one day and then it went away for like five months. And then I got it in like October of 2020. And it hurt and I didn't like having to put in a tampon because it hurt, but then I got used to it. And I will say one embarrassing story is I was in ballet class and it bled through my tights. <gasps> no! Which was my biggest fear and it happened. And I think that That's was the so last bad. ballet class with pink tights I ever took because I was traumatized for life. Yeah, I would cry. I didn't go back that day, I left. I was like, bye. Mine was really bad, so oh. I was wearing white. No. A white dress and I was, there's a supermarket called Ralph's here yeah. in LA. And what mom? Oh, well, I was 16. My mom wanted everyone to know that. You were 16. I was so late that's when I really, got my period. Yeah, that's like not. I was like so old. late. So if you get your period late, it's not a bad thing. And we were walking in the supermarket for like 30 minutes, obviously just like shopping around. Yeah. And my mom notices a huge, giant red stain no. on my butt. And she was like, Shanna, oh my gosh, run to the car. So I like ran to the car. That's awful. Yeah. The fact that you're wearing white, like that's what you read about in like movies and it happened to you. Yeah, it did. It I'm did. so sorry. In Ralph's too, not Ralph's. You're like I trying know. to get like your my little fruity pebbles and then you freaking get your period. I like, know, it's like, that's not the now. kind of rainbow I wanted. No, <laughs> not the type of rainbow we wanted. No, 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 no. My crush asked who I like, what should I do? Oh, that's a hard one. You gotta I'd say tell them. You gotta no watch. Watch. Oh, okay, them. okay, okay, okay. You gotta go up, little little. Mm -mm. Look them up and down. Bite the lip. <laughs> Not the lip bite. Put the do the <laughs> hair, the Debbie Ryan, the, and you know look up and down like, and then you go. I don't know, Pookie. Why don't you guess or R? <laughs> and that's how you get a man. That's how you pull Jensen? Boom. Don't do that. Don't call them Pookie. From what I've learned, men don't like being called Pookie. I've never called them one, but I've heard from men that they don't like being called Pookie. So don't call them Pookie. If someone was fake to y'all, are you still going to be friends or would you end the friendship? I think a few years ago, I would stay in it. But now I've gotten to the point where I really want to catch red flags in friendships and relationships early. So I yeah. think I wouldn't completely just be like ghosting them, but I think I would gently pull away. Right. What I would do, I think like I agree with you before, I definitely would have because I was always really afraid of confrontation and communication. And I felt that if I was going to communicate something, they were gonna be mad at me forever, but I've learned that communication is a very important thing and it's very necessary. Yeah. So I would definitely communicate for sure if I was seeing something that was happening that was making me upset. And if they are upset and like don't put themselves in my shoes, then you know, maybe that's not the way to go, but you know, a friend that always puts themselves in your shoes and like if you have an issue and they like try to see where you're coming from, like that's a good friend. Agreed. You know what I mean? But if they're like, oh, what are you what what are you talking about? Like you're in the wrong, like why would you like that's like that's like that's like a red flag in my opinion. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. How do you get over a guy? I mean I think the best way is to cut communication. Yeah. I've made the mistake of when being broken up with, I continue the communication. Yeah. Because I care about that person, and not only were they somebody that I cared for romantically, but I also cared for them platonically, like yeah. as a friend. And you kind of become like best friends with the person that you're romantic with. And I genuinely think if you like a person so much, you can't really be friends with them. No. Or you it's can, just it's just really like, hard. it's like death. It's, it's difficult, because I will say, I mean, that's kind of what I, what I had to do with Jensen, is I had to, like, be friends with him, and that was really difficult, you know, I don't like, know how you did it. I mean, like, seeing him every day, like, that was I obviously... I don't know how you did it. I think seeing an ex on social media alone. Like, so I, I like to see him every day. I don't know how you did it. I literally, I'm just going to say it, like, I mute my ex's stuff, so I don't see it. Right. Stories, posts, I mean, not... I, initially like now yeah like, you know if it's like months down the line I don't care not, then yeah. you're over it but like 
right after the breakup happens, I think like muting their stuff just so you don't like see it is best because if not, you're just gonna be like in a toxic spiral, just like who's that chick he's with or what is he doing here? Or what? Because you're used to knowing their life and all of a sudden you don't know their life anymore. Yeah. And so I think the first thing you should do is just mute it, not block them or unfollow unless things happen like just really mute. bad, but like just mute it so you don't have to look at it and you can start the process of moving on. And then down the line when you don't care anymore and you're moved on, then you can unmute or do whatever yeah. you wanna do. And I will say one more thing on that note, and this is kind of bad, but it's very true is the best way to get over a guy is is to find another one. And I <laughs> I, I know that's bad, but I've- It's kind of true though. But I've experienced it. I've had it happen, so I know that it's true, and I know that's bad, but it works. So do it, I mean, do with that what you want. I do have to say, like, I've experienced that like a, one yeah. time uh -huh. of where I had a really bad experience with a guy, and like a week after, I met someone that treated me so great. And that lasted for quite some time, and then it and ended. Did you just but like, like completely kind of like forget about the guy? Really. I did because this other guy treated me so well. That's what happens. But it, I feel like you know you're not you don't ever want to be somebody's. I feel like you sh you need to be over your ex before you move on to somebody else because that's just not fair to the person. To the person. Because I've been in the situation where it's like they're not over their ex, and then after they start dating you, they go back to their ex. That's tough. And I'm like, for the ex, it was great. But like, oh, for sure. me, I was like, oh, dang it. That, <laughs> gosh darn. I guess I was the rebound. <laughs> I'm really outing Jenna. myself today. Oh, poor Jenna. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. Jenna's crying inside. It's fine, guys. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. I'm fine. What are you talking about? Has there ever been a part in your friendship where you guys felt like unfriending each other? In our friendship? Yeah. No. I don't never. think so. There was a time where we didn't. Like, where we weren't close. Like, we I, didn't, like, 26, like, we were acquaintances, but we weren't really friends. Like, we knew each other. So, like, when we first met, we worked together a lot. We did, Because yeah. of the Rock Your Hair concerts and we stuff. We did. So, but I think we're the closest now than we've ever been. Oh, I think most definitely. I would say, well, we, like, I would say we became good friends, like, maybe, like, what, like, 2020, kind of? Like, yeah. But I would say we became, like, really good friends probably like last year or something like, i would say so i think now is the or strongest. even or even when did we film that first video it was this year i think where we went to like dave taught chicken remember the third the first the no, third it wasn't, wheeling it was, video oh yeah the third wheeling it was like the first video i feel like that the third wheeling video is probably when we started to get like extremely yeah close. well that was like the first time we actually like got to just spend time with each other like kind of like just us like yeah like, jensen was there but we could have. <laughs> Jensen was there, but it was honestly. It was like it was like us. us, and we said that it was the funniest thing. Yeah. But that was when we became like really close. I think so, like, that's when like we became super duper close. So like, like now, Eliana and I like know everything about each other. Like <laughs> literally, Jenna knows everything. So it's but like over that period of time, I've like obviously never thought about unfriending you like ever. No, I don't think so either. But also there was times like where I just wasn't around as much so just, it like, was like we weren't really like seeing because i was yet. either like in nashville or like doing something and but it, it wasn't never like was because something was wrong no it's just because i was just like there. out and about yeah yeah what is your guys's biggest ick oh man i have a lot <laughs> i have a lot okay do you want to go first or me you go okay um imagining imagining them running up the stairs like a dog and barking like roof 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 <laughs> <laughs> like going up the stairs, what? like going up the stairs on all fours, and like, like them. Barking. So anyone like crawling? Yeah. No, they have to be barking like woo woo woo. <laughs> Is that happening? <laughs> no, but it's an ick. <laughs> it's an ick. What's another ick? I don't. Oh, oh. Okay. When they say when they use language like sawy and and they're like I'm so sawy. Is there a pick me boy? Yes. Or I'm I'm my little baby. Or or when they go like. Boobies! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! That was... <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get you. I'm not yeah. no. I'm not no. I'm not no. I also think cocky people drive me crazy. Oh, that's an ick, actually. It, cocky people that's a are good a ick. major ick. I also don't like when girls go after... Um, Guys who have girlfriends. Ick. If you're if a dude's in a relationship or vice versa, if a girl's in a relationship, 
Leave them the heck alone, people. It's yeah. not that hard. It's really not that hard. It's literally the definition of girl code. Right. Another hashtag fact. What is your guys' current relationship status? Okay, we had to move the camera a little bit because my thing ran out of storage. But Boo. we were on the topic of relationship status. She's taken happily babe. taken. Taken babe. I literally think I will be at your guys' wedding. Like, I'm so convinced. No, but I am so convinced. Like, I already know the whole lineup. Like, I could totally be in charge of the playlist. Because, like, I would put Thumbelina on there. I would ah! throw, a little, I'll throw a little Bruno Mars just for ah! Benson. I mean, That's I... That's what I like to hear. And I'm just single over here. It's you know, okay. I'm kind of in the mindset where I'm like, I found most of my bridesmaids. So that's, that's like one half of the thing. And I'll find the other half when I'm supposed to find the other half. Just let it happen. Just having fun, meeting people, and just, yeah, right now. Mm. That's kind of what I'm doing. Guys in this generation don't love to commit. If you're a mature man that's older than 18 um, and you like Jenna, hit her up. If you Slide in the DMers. Cute. And you're mature, and you're not gonna treat her like crap, because we can't have my girl getting hurt again. Hit Jenna up, please. Yeah. Please and thanks, taking applications. Yeah. They all go through me. <laughs> they all DM you first. <laughs> so yeah, they, I'm like, it's okay. like Jenna boyfriend application. <laughs> I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a survey, put it in my bio. You know, Ellie, we should actually do that. Can we actually do that? Wait, like for a YouTube, like oh for a YouTube video? That would be so fun. Wait. Wait, I'm so down for that. You're my matchmaker. Wait, so I just go and DM random guys and be like, hey, my friend at Jenna Davis, can can you um be a part? Can you go on a date with her? Can you be a part of it? I DM like TikTok and oh my god, no, 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 no more TikTokers. No more TikTokers. No more TikTokers. TikTokers are. I say that and I get a TikToker next, but no, I'm just kidding. Please, no more TikTokers. That's fine. I wasn't I've gonna go for the TikTok. Had my share. I want to date someone in sports. Oh, ooh, like be like a hot soccer girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next question. How do you guys stay so calm during these events? We don't. We're not <laughs> inside. We look calm. Inside, I'm screaming. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. Anytime I We're go to these events, at hiding it. I try to look for the first person I know. Right. That's why I always have to like go with people. To yeah, them. anytime like, we can, we try to bring each other as a plus like, one. Like, Jenna, can you go to this event with me, please? Yeah, because it's literally influencer high school, and it's scary. And it's, no, I was just going to say it's scary, and it's intimidating, and we get scared at these events, and yeah. that's why we go with each other. That's why we That's why we go. So, to answer your question, we're not that calm. We just are good at hiding it. You guys, it's getting hot in this tub. I know, it's getting that spicy. It's getting, like, steamy. Like, we're going to, like... Oh, yeah, out I know. We don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> we're all just like, the end of the video, she's we're like, woo. Like, and that video ends. We don't That'd want it. But at least it'd be in the, on camera. That would be. That, that as is As long true. as you get on camera. That is true. Ah, we love you guys. Thanks we for being here for us. Thanks for watching. We love, love you guys you. so much. Stay tuned for more videos from yeah. your, fav your favorite duo. Your favorite iconic duo. Jeliana. It is that's really literally our friendship Sorry, Jensen, friendship you've been name. replaced by me. The Everyone kind of likes this duo better. Because why would they? Just kidding. That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to be third wheeling at your wedding. It's going to be like me behind. Like you guys are like, anyone has been pronounced husband and wife. And I just like bust You're through. Like, yes! And I'm like, yes! Finally! Be like, Jenna! Yeah. And the, the wedding video ends. Dun -dun. No, literally. I would like that to happen. Because the reality is, like, you guys' love life is so great, and mine's just so bad. I'm just going to be an old maid no. at that point. No, Jenna, don't say that. No, it's true. We're going to find you love, Jenna. It's okay. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. I hope so. Ten well, days. if I'm an old maid, at least I just get to third wheel you guys for the rest of my life. That's so sad. No, no I know. We don't want yeah. that for you. I know. Jensen okay. would hate that. If Jensen were here, he'd literally like dunk Jensen me. Jensen would hate that. He would literally Jensen'd hate that. Jensen would be like, no, you're not. He'd be like, bye. respectfully, bye. <laughs> he'd lock me out of the house. Okay, he would. anyway, we're getting a little sidetracked. It's, it's really late. It's late. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. bye.